Let's roll. Ladies and gentlemen, surprisingly for the first time in the Not Sam studio, but a couple of guys that I've spoken to in, in many other venues yes. over the course of time, they are the uh, uh, one of the most decorated tag teams of all time. I'm talking WWE, IWGP, Impact, Tag Team Champions of the World, ladies and gentlemen. Doc Gallows. Just so many accolades. What a what an intro, man. Machine Gun now Carl we're talking. Anderson. Now we're talking. So the, the, I was just putting this studio over. This thing is this is amazing. This Thank is beautiful. You. But you deserve this. You do. Aww. You deserve this. But well, I also I also think that you know, as, a, as a brother that has a family and stuff, you got to get out of the house sometimes, though. So you're really fucked. You never get to leave. No, no. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no reason. Literally, even like, hey, uh, Anderson and Gallows are around. Like, would you like to talk to him? I'd love to talk to him. They can come to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so you I, just you never leave the house anymore. I try not to. You're as, like a, a, a hermit? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but I feel like if I surround myself with everything I need in the house, like hermits, you think of like almost like hoarders. Yeah, gotcha. Like piles of newspaper and stuff. Like clearly, so my productivity you, hasn't suffered. You well, no, no. It's look, you, look, you, you, you. Do you Uber Eats? Do you go for dinner? <laughs> do, do, my literally. He doesn't do anything. I, I had a conversation with my dad. He said. You know, you spent four hundred dollars on Uber Eats last month. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Dad, I didn't do the tally. I didn't. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't that, realize. What, yeah, I have a thing on my phone that says like what you spend the most on, and uh, like our Uber Eats bills are just astronomical. But the convenience is worth the money. Well, the wife it will is. ask. The wife will say, "I thought you guys went to dinner, and then there's an Uber Eats at three a.m." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. we did. That was my second snack of the night. <laughs> Boy, LG, the big man here, loves. I mean, he just loves a good wake up at three thirty in the morning, and then o order Uber Eats, and then back to sleep. So he wakes up at eight a.m. and it's out there and he forgot yeah, he got I, it. I, oh, I nice. opened the door of the Marriott. Oh, go, Subway? Cool. I go, God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> but then oh, you got pizza? Uh, who the hell needs an 18 inch pizza at 3 30? I love that too because it's got to be, be such, a, <laughs> such a pain in the ass for an Uber Eats driver to have to get up at 3 30 in the morning. Like, they better really be hungry. Yeah, dude, Meanwhile, feel, you're, you're I, passed out. I need you to already. leave that in front of 841, please. <laughs> I, this, this, we, we were in Fort Lauderdale a couple, a couple weeks ago and, and, and we went out to eat. And we're physically, we're stuffed. We're almost <laughs> sick that we're so full, right? We go back to the room. We had to share a room, didn't we? This one we had didn't to share we? a room, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we don't so, do that a lot. Yeah, yeah but uh, there was two bedrooms, though. Yep, Anyways, yep, yep. I fell, I fall asleep. <laughs> I wake back up at, I wake up at four, I go pee, and I hear... <laughs> And he's big man's got the he's got a, a, a double XL size pizza. And I go, what is he doing? <laughs> what did you do? Did you get hungry for pizza? I was having a little snack. <laughs> so I go, then I go back to bed. I, I wake back up at eight and I think, fuck, did I really see that? I come out, eight AM. He's eating the pizza still. <laughs> so he walks back up and goes, Oh, here we go. Perfect. That's we, a little cheese. Like, we went for dinner, you know. <laughs> I'm glad we're having this conversation. A lot of people ask me, like, especially people who aren't like familiar with wrestling that I know from other places, they're like, yeah. Oh, you know those guys. How do they keep their uh, fitness regimen on the road? How do they keep yeah. their diets together? Yeah. And clearly, one you the, figured out a way. One of the funniest parts of the, the story that he, he didn't touch on is, is a lot of times I'll go, well, you know, I might be eating bad, but I don't eat all that bread. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll buy the large pizza and I, eat all, the cheese off. I yeah. eat all the toppings. I eat a pound and a half of cheese. He woke, up, he woke up and dressed me down for ordering the pizza, eating it again in the morning. He goes... Don't see much crust left there, do I, bud? <laughs> that's the funny. So actually, so typically he does. I said, "Oh, fuck off." That's what, that's what makes it fucking funny. It was too much to explain, but he typically <laughs> takes the cheese off. Well, there was no cheese. It yeah, was he, all the whole he, thing. He goes, "Clearly, you went all the way in." Can we can we move on? Let's go to the gym or something. Right. <laughs> is that a, is that uh, uh, effective physically? Like, can you if you don't eat the bread of pizza? So is it good for you? I, <laughs> I, like. I personally believe yes. I wouldn't manifest that in your own life. <laughs> now, I, now, I say if, if you're all the way dialed in, yeah. now, if, if you're just doing it out of, it doesn't hurt, right? It, it doesn't hurt. Oh, I, a, I think if you're, less carbs. if you're all the way, oh, if yeah. you're all the way dialed in and you, and you just rip the cheese off the pizza, I think it's good. I, I think mean, it's better than eating the whole fucking piece of pizza. It has to be. Look, I'm looking at you guys. You're in shape. Talk to like, us, Like, you man. know, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at Gallows over here, he's going like this, you can see the tricep oh, yeah. coming out. Look oh, at that tricep, you, you know? Yeah. Look that you're sitting in the chair, you're hunched over, there's no gut punching over, there's no there's no Brother. pear shape, you guys are looking great. I got, talk a, to I us, got a Supreme, there were three or four vegetables in that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Green peppers, yeah. onions. Yeah, 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 yeah I've olives. been there. That's olives. Like, <laughs> it's like when you go to 7-Eleven and you're like, I think I could piece together a balanced meal here, Figure I think. We do. Put the banana peppers in there, I'll be fine. We do really good until we're about five, six white claws deep. And it didn't, <laughs> then it's like, huh? Well, that cheeseburger looks great <laughs> with the bun, yeah, and the fries. Well, yeah. That's why the AEW run we had for nine months. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, this, that was the, some of the most fun I've ever it's had in the, in the business in because it, <laughs> really? I'm talking about 
full blown in pandemic COVID, yeah. COVID era. No yeah. people in this stupid arena, right? None, none. It's the way it should there's, be. So there's zero pressure. He loved it. There's zero pressure. I could care less. So I, weird. I, I knew everything we did was great. I didn't have to hear the boo or the cheers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew you, what I was doing you, was perfect. How do you know? You're good if there's no booing or cheering. Well, Brother, sometimes you just know. Exactly. Right? And so we didn't, we didn't have to get to the arena, at the AEW arena, until, what, 6 p.m. or something, right? <laughs> yeah, well, then, then we, we go in. We technically worked there, and we were yeah. friends with the bosses, so, so we, we had a little leeway. We, <laughs> did, we, we did our... That may, brother, may or may not have gotten us a little heat skis. <laughs> the boys might have hated this. Love you all, you boys. <laughs> Love you, boys. <laughs> but then we, we get finished. As soon as our thing was done, we're out, we're out of there. We go straight to the catering that was that was done and paid for and there for you to eat. The first... Well, wait, wait, wait. There for you or there for the AEW guys? Well, you know, well, well, we were well. The AEW talent AEW and guys. us. Well, well, that's why we that's why we went early so we get there, before they all get there. Yeah, we're like, let's, let's sneak it in. Grab, well, grab three of those. Wine if, bottles. if you've ever seen if you've ever seen a uh, if you ever seen a, a wine bottle disappear in, in about two minutes, just watch us. When we when we're not doing pro wrestling, we're actually shoot magicians. Yeah. Abracadabra, and I see it. Now. Disappear. Well, that, 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 that one time, I think we were here in New York, dude. It's SummerSlam, mm. and we, me, Shinsuke, and Gallows found this Korean barbecue. Eat at. Oh, baby. Gallows goes, Shinsuke, you want to see magic trick? <laughs> Shinsuke, Shinsuke's a very, he's a, a different cat. He loves that kind of stuff. He so loves he, magic. He, he goes, magic. Yeah, he, he, like, he likes different things. He goes, Oh, yes. <laughs> Gallows goes, he takes his hand, he he sparkles it over this this full beer he had in front of him, and he goes, Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> takes it back, swallows it back, puts it down, and goes, Ta da. And Shinsuke goes, Fuck! <laughs> With a big Shinsuke pop. If you've ever seen a good Shinsuke pop, is next it, level. It was worth taking that beer to the head for the pop. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a little heat ski, you were saying, for the boys, maybe, for showing up when you were showing up. Because I, in my head, I was like, okay. Little old us. I, 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 yeah, I was like, okay. The brother's good. The good brothers are, are getting this chance to now show up on AEW. I'll bet. They're going to be on good behavior just to show everybody, hey, you bring us full time and look at look at the good guys you that you'll get that I misjudged. Did I, I misjudge? I, no, I feel like I feel like the boys there. Like, I, no, I, well, we love everyone boys, loves us, love don't the, they? Bro, we you guys are time. you guys are morale boosters. I, I, right, I, I that's exactly what people. Right. Sam remembers that the WWE yeah. locker room misses the morale boost. Hey, of the boys. Roman Reigns said it out loud to us. You got to, you, basically it was it was Gallows, but I I like to put myself in there. But he said Gallows <laughs> Gallows is a morale we're, booster. We're we're it's a like, unit. Yeah. We're a unit. You Roman, and I. Roman, you met both of us, right? Like, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah Gallows gets everybody laughing, and you're with him. Yeah, exactly. So that, uh, I may or may not have been running a little hot at the time. Well, so some of my antics <laughs> amused the boys. And sometimes, sometimes I, I tell Gallows is like, you know, the shit he does. Like it's, it, you know, not, not many people, you know how it is, Sam. Not many people can make you laugh. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know who. It, sometimes you're fake laughing. You're not sure. fake laughing. I mean, th- I mean this this man. <laughs> It, it, it has made me makes me physically fall on the ground. Well, we, we, we have that. I can't take it. A fall. We have that effect on each other. I mean, like like we're we're also children, though, Sam. I mean, he he yeah. farted in the rental car, and P. R. Ross, <laughs> who already. <laughs> Like I, he forgot how to drive well, anyway. Wait, I, but hey, he I'm wafing it. I'm wafing it up there. Like, like a child, he's throwing the fart into our faces. And and Ross then is he's going, filming oh. it, and I have this big physical reaction. And Ross is going, <laughs> for fuck's sakes, your hilarious fart's gonna kill us. Well, Gallows goes, ah, oh, god damn it, you smell like an international bathroom, but that international plane. Uh, international- you smell like a bathroom at the end of an international fucking flight. Is what I said. How do you compare that to anything? I, you're, you're, I don't know. I know, but now your you just, anus. Yeah. I just did. <laughs> now that you've described it, I get it. Yeah. I kind of understand. I'm not talking about a planet in the fucking solar system, hey, pal. Hey, ass. hey, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you want to talk wrestling? Or? Yeah, fuck that party. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is a big time. First of all, I love that poor PR Ross is driving around. He's trying to take this stuff seriously. A it's, a, it's a media tour. It's yeah. like, well, we're Impact is a, is a real entertainment company that's that needs to be taken about. seriously. We're right there with the top dogs, and he's getting farts blown. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you what, got, are the, what are the top tag teams in the world, and they're also great at flatulence? Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to have us doing the media. Come on. I mean, that's also what I was thinking as you were telling the story. I'm like, what are they going to do? Send somebody else to do it? I, I don't mean, think so. No. I don't think we're, so. We're the, only, we're the only two men in the world who actually like doing media because we like to hear our own fucking bullshit out of our <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah we listen are the, do you guys have a strategy i wonder that because you know there's some uh 
There's some people that are uh, bad at this stuff, you know, like uh, people who ask questions. They're not good at asking questions. There are some interviews they can get very, very boring. Well, there's do yes. you Do you guys have a signal where you're like, you know what, for our own entertainment, we're gonna have to take over this interview? Well, yesterday this guy started yeah. that he could. He That's goes a great question. He goes, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly answer. He goes, okay, I am uh, Nick, and I'm uh, oh boy, and I go, oh, you, you little fucking nervous dog, and he goes. Yeah, I actually am. I go, listen, I got you. Fan. Here you are with the boys. No you got shit. Gallows, you got Anderson. I said, what's your name, fella? And, he can, and then we helped him in. So, yeah. Boom. We got to start interviewing him. Now, he like wasn't that. a great interview, but I mean. Oh, but, the in, but the interview itself was great. Nick, you're of the course, best. Because, we, yeah, we, yeah, you, I don't think his don't name sh- is Nick. Don't, <laughs> shit on, don't shit on Poughkeepsie fucking Nick like that. So. Well, Poughkeepsie somebody. Nice guy, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah helped him through it. I mean, there's, yeah, but we enjoy doing this we, we enjoy pushing the, whatever company we're working for yeah well and you enjoy working for it and you still enjoy wrestling you actually still enjoy as much as i'm sure that you enjoy staying at home you clearly enjoy being on the road and doing this whole yeah, thing it's and, our first love man we've been saying that for two days and it's you know it's never going to be out of us we have all these we actually grew up a little bit and we have these other business ventures and other shit yeah. we're working on but pro wrestling will always be the core of it at some point always it's going to be part of us and what we do that's what the brand is yeah yeah i, I mean it's just it's the truth it, it's it's we, we, you know even just coming here and, and getting a chance to hang out eat talk business you know mm-hmm. so, and yeah. so we, that's what we enjoy doing we're going we love pr ross but we need a few minutes to ourselves like we don't ever get a few minutes where it's just him and i like well, then we go fuck we need to invite pr ross what are we talking about well, we I'll, talk to each other all day every day i'll be on the, i'll be on the phone and i'll laugh or something right and, and my wife will go like you know who's that you know what made you laugh I'm like, well gallows and she goes God, he's like, you talk to the boys all day long. We go, I love the boys. Yeah, we, we I need the boys. I love being home with you and the kids, but I'm thinking, I wonder how the boys are. Yeah. So what, what, are the, what are the boys up to? You know, I, wonder, I, wonder what, I wonder if the WWE boys are having a pool party. Hey, hey, did, I wonder hey, if any of the Impact boys are at a baseball game. Does, 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 does Cash into shower anyways? What's Gallo's yeah. doing? I wonder, I wonder if FTR's having a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there after a after a, a th- three week run on the road, yeah. you finally get to see your family. Thirty minutes later, you're just looking out the window. Kid, Honey, yeah. what are you thinking about? Kids are bouncing on our laps. Just wonder what the boys yeah, are doing. What the boys up to? What if the boys have to bump today? Well, the, well, the, 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 ba- the baby will crawl in bed with me. I hug him and then I go. I wonder if Gallows is waking and baking today. <laughs> And yes, nothing, <laughs> nothing pops me more than awake and bake. I mean, like that's just that's the most hilarious thing you could think of. I, try, I, try, <sighs> I tried. I literally tried to come out with my own CBD product to make it okay, and I just there was no way to launch it. So I went. I'm just gonna have to admit that I like weed. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's literally this. I put, it on, I put it on Instagram a couple times and I went, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's, a, it's a CBD made up paste with my face. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, what the fuck are you doing? I go, I don't think you want to be involved in this. Okay, and then done. a week later he goes, are you still doing it? And I go, oh, no. <laughs> no, he just uses no, it. I have eight canisters in my bathroom. We, we, were, we, were, driving around with, we were driving around with somebody the other day and, and, he, and the guy was just fiending for weed, the driver. And, and Gallows goes, I got this CBD oil. Trust me. To go easy on it. And I go, what do you mean? He goes, it lights you up, brother. <laughs> so this, so this guy, to the guy who's our handler for this thing, not an impact guy. We see him at the signing, and then we see him a week later at another one. I go, how'd Big LG CBD treat you? And he goes, oh, boy, I was fucking zonked. <laughs> That's right. It's the most carny thing ever, too. It's this, it's this, it's this fucking stupid tub <laughs> with, like, the Sex Ferguson with a thumbs up on it. I go, What's this world come to? Yeah, it's good for your health. Yeah. It is, like, man, but you do. I mean, that's the whole point of all of this, right, is to figure out how to take these weird hobbies that we're yeah. we, we're just avoiding growing out of, of and going, like, how, how do we support a household with it? Because if you can support a household with it, you can just mm. do it forever, right? That's, yes. I, I popped when I walked into your house because your home is now your personal, beautiful studio, and there's... 18,000 pairs of sneakers because you're rich now. Yeah, I like and there's yeah. 19,000 wrestling figures. I go, fucking Sam's got it down. What a, it's like being in my own house. What a life. What a life it's, it's morphed into. Well, it's even, I mean, seeing your son up there, like, it's, oh. it's it, 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 I, I realize how quick life is gone, but like, yeah. Because my first three children, I, I don't remember the third one. Or the second one as a baby, because I was in yeah. Japan so much. Well, you were with the boys. I was with I was with the boys. <laughs> he but loved seeing the boys. I love I, I, I love seeing the boys. But if we go back to real life for a second, yeah, I, kinda, I miss those times. Yeah, well, <laughs> I wish yeah. I wish I was with my baby. I, I, but I had to pay the bills somehow. Of course, I, I always of course. say when we do these things, like like people go like, "Well, do you have regrets? Do you regret like you got fired here? You made a mistake there?" I, no, mm-hmm. that was part of the journey. But our I think our biggest regret is like the passage of time. 
I always go back to like the fucking uh, Talladega Nights line. I'm like, with our high level of income and the advances in modern science, it's not out of the question to think we could live to be 250, 300. <laughs> yeah, of course. I need right? more time. Yeah, yeah. If I could just like. This has been excellent. <laughs> you know, just, just go back and bottle up some of that time and then just feel it again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know when what I mean? When the kids are babies. Now we're stuff. getting real here. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, like, you know, when you're just having fun in the moment for as long as possible, all of a sudden those moments are gone and you're like, oh. That oh, sucks. there was other stuff. Like, oh, there was. I was making yeah. choices that whole time. Like, you probably, of course. Yeah. yeah, you're probably not thinking well, like, like, logically. Yeah. I'm making the choice to not do this. I'm doing this instead. It's just, you know, Gallows has a pizza. Let's go up to Gallows' room, and you don't realize. Of course, two nights have passed, and that's gone forever. Well, like, Dude, you know, yeah. Like seeing your seeing your son in person. The last time we took a picture, we were too sweet in his mom's belly. And yeah, she was pregnant with him. And it was five years ago. I remember, I told him yesterday, I go, that time we saw Sam and I had those terrible tap out pants on, I like an idiot. <laughs> I remember that, but it's five fucking years ago. It doesn't seem like that long you ago know? to me either. Yeah. It's it's so crazy. It's like it, It's one of those things where I feel like also the older you get, the more you time. About it, man. Yeah, and, and then you start going like, oh, yeah, shit. I probably see those guys every two, three months. And it's like, no, nah, it's been years. It's been yeah. Especially years. with the pandemic, right? Like. The, the, the Which deep... is still going on in New York, I'm realizing. A little bit. A little Bro, bit. It's we... better than it has been, but a little bit. We had no Guys, idea. Guys, it is we, time. We, 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 we live in this... Open this fucking world up. I live in Georgia. It's he done. lives in Tampa, Florida. People forgot that anything was wrong there. <laughs> well, you, I was, I was you... in the gas station three days after it started, and people were making fun of me for wearing the fucking mask. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I mean, people you, were dying. You, yeah, yeah, Christ. yeah. there's that fine line we walk, yeah. right? Like, uh, I think there is a thing going on here. But... Look at that fucking Mark with his mask on. <laughs> yeah. I just... Well, I, I, I also, I feel like there's listen. People, people are getting vaccinated. Hopefully, it's it's starting to go away. Yeah, let's it, let's let's get this thing over. Let's get it. Yes, over. Let's yes. Get, let's do that. The whole deal. And and yeah, and then and as then, safe as possible, of course. But right. for fuck's sakes, let's get this thing going. <laughs> 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 well, it's frustrating because like like we were saying with time, like the default becomes. Well, I definitely haven't seen him in two years. Then how long was it before the pandemic since yeah, I saw him, right? right? And all of a sudden, it's been six years since you've seen somebody. I mean, I've only seen my dad like twice like in BC two years. And AD. I mean, it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's insane. Yeah, yeah. But now, now you got to perform in front of fans again. Yep. Yeah, Which he, is, it's beautiful. He, he beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, beautiful. don't get me wrong. I, I honestly, I've been saying this a lot. I can't take this. I grew, state. I grew to where I loved COVID wrestling. The, I was, I like, say it. the only man I'm who loved you. pandemic wrestling is Carl Anderson. Well, I, I think it's because I'm a perfectionist. A perfectionist. All like, the brothers are going, God, this sucks. The people, he's going, this is awesome. So I, you, you, play in, you play in your match. You play in your spots to get these certain pops at certain times. And yeah. Then sometimes you don't get the pop that you want and go, that kind of sucked. Yeah, and well, you, so you feel, a little, you feel a little bit like, uh, the match is fine. Right. But in this pandemic wrestling there's nobody out there i just knew my shit was good well, that, and that, i didn't have to ask one goddamn person <laughs> if it was good i didn't i knew it you heard the pop and i heard you, the pop you got the pop you in were looking my, for in my brain <laughs> yeah i think i think it, it probably uh winds down to confidence you know the level yes. of confidence that people have and that if you have like uh an obscene amount of self-confidence that people that's go awesome. yeah. Wow, that's, what? That doesn't make that's any... That's the problem with us. People don't like our confidence. <laughs> well, that's I, I think that's part of the issue with WWE, right? Like, I mean, I, we, we, we weren't young guys going there and, and worried about stuff. We knew what we did was right. We, and, and we, we listened. To, we want to learn the TV wrestling, which we learned, mastered. Yeah, mastered. Mm -hmm. master, master debaters, for sure. Master debaters, cutting linguists, all that. Did you just, did you just take the masturbation? You need it? Master debaters. Oh, debaters. And cunning linguists. He, he, Pick up all my heard, jokes, Carl. He, he heard master, and he was like, I know where I'm going. Yeah. No, but, but, I got a beat-off joke. Anybody ready? But back in front, back in front of people, I, I keep bringing up Philadelphia. Philadelphia was, was, was fun. rocking. It was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 and it, Dallas was cool. It's just, it is cool to be back in front of people again. It's like, in feeling... Because, like I said, in the in the in the in the pandemic era, there you didn't get you just didn't get nervous. I didn't. Do you get you, you but you get nervous now because the feel, crowd. There's I expectations. You see the eyeballs, lies, man. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You, if, if you don't feel something, I mean, then that's you're probably being a business, man. right? Yeah. yeah, that's part of it. But now having to go out there in front of people, you I mean you're, you're just you're pumped, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. But I wasn't pumped for a while. We, uh, you were just doing the thing. I was just working. Just doing the thing. Yeah, it was also it was actually just like, well, I got to do this to get paid. I'm mainly yeah. here to hang out with the yeah, boys for sure. The yeah. boys. Yeah. Aside yeah, the boys. from the boys, the flatulence and the bad masturbation jokes, we are here to talk about Poughkeepsie Impact Wrestling. But really, we realized that yesterday. Yesterday, that's like we've got to do all these famous buildings together all over the world, but we've never been there. I was excited when I found out that yeah. the uh, the the Impact pay per view is coming to Poughkeepsie. Yeah, dude. Yeah, eighty miles I mean, north of the city, right here. The New York City fans can shoot up there, and and like that building is. We've talked about it 
a ton because we're doing media, but there's it's so rich in wrestling history. Dreamer just said uh, over at the other show that Macho Man and Elizabeth debuted there. Like, I had no idea. There's a lot of cool shit that happened in that I'm building. just not a big building guy because we've just been everywhere. Well, I, I, I know <laughs> that. Because I'm not a fucking Mark. I know that, but I'm trying <laughs> to sell the fucking show. No, I know. I know. Look, I know. I'll tell you from my perspective, I'm a fan of the building, and yeah. I'll tell you why. Let's go. They did a, a, a an NXT show when NXT was like on the road yep. and touring and stuff and and they did. That's an, when it was hot. When they NXT did, was hot. It was hot. When it was hot. It was hot. Yeah. And NXT was Back there. Then, then it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. And NXT <laughs> was there. And uh, I remember, and I hadn't been there like back in the day. I didn't realize that it, how close it was. Like you think, ah, somewhere upstate. It's like. I mean, it's like 45 minutes from my house. That's it's what I nothing. Mean, it's, it's an hour drive. Right? And yeah, yeah. And I remember being in that building and like looking around and like you could see the background to where Wrestling Challenge was taped and all those sure. like syndicated yeah, WWE man. shows that you grew so up watching stuff. and you're like, yeah, oh that's, my God. Super that's cool for you, yeah. Shit, yeah. yeah well, because cool. you grew up a big WWF guy probably, right? The biggest. So, yeah. Die hard in New York. Yeah. The biggest. The, the only way. Yeah. Well, I just met a guy. Well, no, I didn't meet a guy. It was, it was uh, LaGreca. LaGreca, yeah. So he's a New Jersey guy. He's a big NWA guy. I didn't realize. He is. That, well, in, I didn't realize NWA he's, used to go there he's, too. They, they he's did. very old. Dave LaGreca. Gotcha. Yeah, very old. Old school guy. That's yeah, I mean, like old. like I know. Yeah, old. He was getting hot today because <laughs> so much stuff was going on. And it was pretty fun when, during the breaks because he was so pissed off at all the technical difficulties. Well, they haven't oh, been in that. studio for years. He's great on the air, and then as soon as the thing comes, he goes, these motherfuckers, there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Right. Now, he's the boy, a, now he's you like got a, the boys' attention. He's, he's a good like, brother. He's like a real radio guy. Like, when I'm on, when I'm in there and it's like, we go to break, Sam, the thing's not working. Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. Right. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I do what time is it? Okay, yeah. well, we got to go till 11, right? All right, whatever. Whatever. If it works, it's not my responsibility. Well, especially you now. You just, you just, you just, you never leave your house. He this is, I'm blown away. This. Yeah, whatever. I, we don't have these technical difficulties at my home studio. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> you I can't. Go into the city. <laughs> we just had to stop trying to even work at home because I just can't get it done. Well, we, you, you're not productive at home. You retired us. I've retired. Yeah, I, I'm not good at it. I tried. And then I, I have a three year old at home and like he doesn't want to leave me alone. Right. And, my wife it, loves my work, of course, but I don't know if she really <laughs> respects the podcast very much. So she's yeah. like, you're, you're going to do that? You're gone all the time? Then you're, then you're going to go up there and do it again? I'm like, uh, oh. Talk and shop, honey. So, so now, it's talk, now we just talk it's and shop on the road. podcast ever for a reason. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. And, and I don't want to, when I'm home, I, I don't I don't want to do any things. I mean, we're, we're, we are luckily very busy. But like last, like last night, we, and we you said, got nine kids. Yeah, I mean, nine, you got to take care of them. Yeah. She's Ten, pregnant. The tenth one's on the way. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 almost, we almost had a, almost, almost number five on the way, but thank God, no. Well, how I do you know. talk? I see those pictures on Instagram, Couple of and near I think misses. to myself, number five is on the near way. Near misses. <laughs> listen, guys. You've, listen, everybody's seen my wife, all right? <laughs> how the hell do you... How do you... How do you how the hell do you not? It's going to happen. It's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. Well, we've already done the beat off joke and the fart joke, so go ahead and finish this up. <laughs> How do you not when she tells you to? Well, you guys, I mean, at the beginning of the pandemic, pretty quickly, uh, uh, you were some of the people that were figuring out, like, how are we going to make this work? I know. We'll put on our own shows. I got a, a big old batch of property here. Let's I do know. the worst mm -hmm. wrestling show ever. Ever. Talking Shop of Mania was born, and I feel like it was. Uh, I, I feel like it was like that. That must have been bottled up inside you guys. Well, that, for a long time, it was like it was know, a hit. You see, it was a hit. You see people get dismissed or fired or leave or whatever, and they're they're mad and they're bitter. And there's always some of that. But I go, I was. You were. <laughs> you, were. <laughs> I, 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 you were not. Old hat for me. I was very angry. I go. I go. Yeah, of course. But I'm I, okay now. But, but I go. Well, fuck this. Let's spoof everything they're doing and make a big payday. And we did. So to me, that's the ultimate win. Yeah. You know? Yeah. First, I mean, I, I knew we weren't going to, you know, roll. Some people, if you, you know, look back at some of those names or that that have been unceremoniously canned um, through the <laughs> through the last couple of years, and some you might not have ever heard of again because not not everybody knows what to do. Like you know, it's get to work. You have to right. you have to get to work, and you have to know how the outside works because it, we have friends like this who I'm, I'm talking to now and, and and helping them understand it. But if you've never been outside, if you come out of college or you're handpicked or whatever, and you go straight into that system and you only understand that. Like you're coddled by what that system is. But that's what it is, right? You, you also know? have to l love it and want to right. do it. That's like, the thing. like when you get to a place, I think it's a lot of it is probably you don't have anybody taking care of all the details. Like all of a sudden, 
you're not just responsible for your performance and your, your travel. Own, you're your own boss. Now. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Booking, yeah. figuring out who's running shows, who's good at running shows, who are good yeah. opponents, what should I be doing, what should yeah. I be charging, should yeah. I be going out in intermission or should I be going out after the show? Right. Like, there's all these little things that a couple of carnies like you have oh. been have mastered. Well, think about it. Think about it. A lot, a lot of guys that were there got handed that job, well, right? We, we see a lot of people now, and, and I think they look at us and go like, oh, you guys are out there all the time. And I think they go like, oh, I bet they're not making any money. And, and, and we're laughing because we're out there all the time. And I've been telling I mean, Sam that since back I, 2014. This, this isn't, this <laughs> isn't, isn't making it rain on the wife. This, 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 is not, this isn't being braggadocious. It's just the truth. We work hard for it. We figured it out. And fuck, the gravy train rolled in. I'm going to so. tell you right now, no, I never met a man where a single silver snake earring in one ear <laughs> who's broke okay it doesn't happen <laughs> it doesn't right. happen men, it's a men who wear three dollar earrings have money <laughs> it's financial success <laughs> is what is what is being displayed hey, on that we, have, we have houses and cars and we have kids that we have to pay for stuff like yeah. and and luckily we you know we but you've got to get out and you've got to get out and build the name though you can't even just take you know and thankfully we're not a formally known as guy either right, right. like right that would have really sucked if i was yeah, jim after, smith and after the 30, throw the old fka yeah, on there no, yeah. that's, that's yeah. to well, me that's the most well, embarrassing the, thing yeah the 30 Seven thousand dollars in trademarks. I would hope. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. <laughs> a lot of money there we spent. <laughs> so how did how did you guys meet each other? Because you guys were both doing your thing before this was a team. Yeah. You know. I mean, and 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 Gallows. I mean, you had you had already had history in in WWE and yeah. and gone through that once. I, how I was in TNA and he yeah. was working in New Japan. And I think we met in passing, like on a WrestleMania weekend. Like he was, I was probably at a table selling things, and he was walking through. And I literally think we met like that, but we weren't buddies or anything. And then we literally there was there was there was a, a funny at the time thing on the TNA show that we both we have the same sense of humor. <coughs> we later found out, and he DM me out of the blue and goes, "How the fuck do you watch that?" Ha 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 ha, and that started the bond of every time it would happen. Then we were like text buddies over it, and then next thing you know, I'm leaving TNA and I'm going there, and he thinks he's getting a big singles run. And he got stuck with me. Well, he's, yeah, he, he, he had sent me like a, he'd sent me like a, 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 or whatever. He asked if there was any any openings in New Japan, and I was like, oh, you know, I like him. Let me let me see. So I showed Hattori his. By, uh, by the way, I like that you uh, qualified it because that yeah, means there are other guys like that have him. said, uh, "Are there any I don't openings?" Like him. Well, there's <laughs> not, no openings. Well, there's, there's not like him. There's not, just other, there's not just other. Everyone asks us for things. We don't know what to do for years. <laughs> I mean, we, well, listen. No I, one ever helped me. We love all of you, but I, I, we I'm love kidding. all of you. But I can't, of I can't get eighty nine of you hired. <laughs> right. You know, but, but I showed Hattori his his stuff, and he, so he he watched it. Comes back the next day, and he goes, "Hey, man, this guy's big guy, good worker." Hattori, my, Hattori is the guy that's booked the, the guy the foreigners for years, and I go, yeah, he's pretty good. Goes, yeah, man, Gato thinking maybe you and him, maybe good tag team. And I go, oh fuck, Ooh, hold on, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. I was, this I'm guy this, sucks. I'm he's middle, an asshole. I'm in the middle of this massive singles push. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I need this motherfucker. Yeah, then, then you know, then he called me up before his first tour, and he goes, hey man, uh, <laughs> so he's, he's coming for New Japan, right? And yeah. he goes, hey. uh I, I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do New Japan in December, and then Noah wants me to come in January. And I go, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and he goes, well, can I just do both? I go, no, bud. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't understand. I was trying to go the to WWF and WCW. Yeah. I didn't yeah. understand how it worked. He's <laughs> like, yeah. you absolutely fucking cannot. Don't said, do the other one. I said, can cancel the Noah one yeah. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go do Starcade and then real quick yeah. hop into Rumble and yeah. then see what happens see, after see, that. See if they can use me. You know? Yeah, because Noah Noah had just fallen off. I, 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 I've called the uh, at the time. He, God rest his soul. He's deceased now but there was a, there was a noah guy uh who was like the liaison guy for the guys in and i i called him up and uh tna had told me i could not i could work for noah because i'd already done a tour or two and then they they kind of blocked it so i was like okay i'm gonna go to noah right away so they booked me for noah i get booked for new japan i go new japan that's what i've been looking for here we go so he tells me this and i call i call the brother up and i said <laughs> sir uh you know i have a little problem i uh I'm, I'm, double I'm, booked I'm, going, I'm doing a tour for new japan and i can't come to uh to know and i'm like these japanese people are the most polite people i've ever spoken to they're gonna take it well <laughs> he goes fuck you bad business <laughs> i'm just like holding the phone over here just let i mean he's just raging on me what a piece of shit i am going, fuck you bad business boy i really hope new japan works out <laughs> yeah. and thankfully it did we, we connected right out the gate yeah. 
Perfect. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <a, laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no going back after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't call him for Noah work. It was weird. <laughs> and then when you all, as a group, kind of left New Japan and came over to WWE, was that something where New Japan realized, like, okay, this is happening, it's time to change, or was New Japan pissed? Well, you got to tell them the story because you have the relationship. Yeah, it, it was. In, yeah. It was tough because we, you know, having to explain that we're, you know, my contract was ending. Mm -hmm. Gallows and AJ didn't even have contracts; they just were, you know, booked all the time. But yeah. Plus, New Japan was good to us. Yeah, right. they were. They were, and, and and we gave them we gave them a month's warning, right? Yeah. And so, and but they they were that day they that day they were pissed off when we told them, of course, that we were leaving. But then, you know, we did it right though. We came back. We put everybody over for the tour. Yeah. Um, we put over, I think, Makabe and Homa for the the titles. Yep. Um, we left properly, mm -hmm. and, 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 we, and we kept a good relationship. And I, I I know this much, and yeah, yes, yes. And it, it, but no matter what, going to WWE, it was time. We had to leave. Yeah. Because when we left, then all those guys, uh, you know, guys like Tama Tonga, um, his brother, uh, Chase Owens, um, the, the, uh, who, who's there now? Who else is there now? Uh, Osprey, Jay White. They all got they got. They, they got contracts they, for more money than I ever made there. Right. They all, Guaranteed it, deals. We, we help guys make more money. and that, that, You're I like National Hall. That's, that's what that's what National Hall is. 100%. <laughs> that's fucking right, brother. We love National Hall. It's, well, I, I, I was on a contract, right? Yeah. And so I was getting paid monthly no matter what. And yeah. I was like, Gallows is here all, all the time. And oh. He's only getting paid week. He's getting paid paid weekly. I'm thinking, he's making some fucking good scratch. <laughs> so we're in the ring. Oh, this fucking And story. Tanahashi and, and Maccabi are coming down to the ring. and, and as Make pay-per-view. As their music is 8,000 people. I looked up at him. I go, Go, how much money you want a week? And he goes, what? I started bouncing. I go, huh? <laughs> he goes, come, come in, again? Yes, he goes, I'm he goes, serious. In the ring, you can see yeah. you can see me look up and I go, how much money you make a week? Because uh -huh. I just thought, go, he's here every single tour because of me. Right. I go, huh? He goes, huh? come again, <laughs> come again. <laughs> he goes, I'm serious. How much do you make? And I went, Fuck. and he goes, uh, <laughs> and he tells me, and I go. You make more money than me, motherfucker. And he goes, <laughs> what? But anyways, you're... I go, there comes Sanahashi. He goes, I get him. He goes, Sanahashi, get in the ring. You're starting? <laughs> I go, yeah, I guess. I go, Fuck. <laughs> and he wasn't mad at him. He was just like, what, what, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This doesn't How make did sense. this all happen? This wasn't the plan. Was like, He's making like a lot more money <laughs> I mean, than me. I mean, the airport bullshit. go, Hattori-san, next tour, a little bump. Hey man, you every just got tour here. you ask for a little bump. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Uh, I mean, but you got the contract. There's, there is a value to yes. seeing that there. I or mean, like that... We, we just finished. The, we finished the first tour, and he goes, "Hey, uh, Tori told me they'd give me a little bump soon. Like, should I ask now?" I go, "It's been one tour, bro. Like, you get, you get take <laughs> tour two. I'll ask. <laughs> yeah. a little bump, a little bump. Maybe tour, yeah. four. maybe tour four. A bump <laughs> it was love at first sight. So yeah, it, it seems was, like it. Yeah. It seems like it. And it seems like it's only grown it's, yeah. and blossomed. And and this is you guys are our life partners, professional we're, we're, we're stuck life. together. Baby. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Well, I've, I never saw somebody when, in in Japan. You have uh, sponsors take you out to eat, right? right? This, they, they they take you to eat at one place. Yeah, and you get done eating there. This and went you go from to, a fun love and interview to a bit of a. Rust. And you go to and then you, and then you go to a bar, right? So they want they want you to drink more. And, and the walk is only uh, three you know, feet, 50, 50 yards. Let's just say fifty yards. Okay. Well, we leave this the spot, and Gallows is like, I gotta run in the in the Seven Eleven real quick. I go, huh? So I told the sponsor, like, one second. He comes out with two beers, and I go, what are you doing? He goes, here you go. And I go, it's for the walk. Bud. The, I go, what's that for? He goes, for the walk. I said, we're, I said, we're going right here. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know where we're going. I mean, we're gonna go here and drink more. You know? You're my friend. I don't want to be thirsty. For God's sake, I never, I, take care I just of my had friends. never seen anybody do that before. So, I mean, I'd, I'd go, you know, with Giant Bernard or A Train, we, we'd go out to eat. He was like a grown man to me, like a. And so I'd go, one more beer? He'd go, no. Just go to bed. <laughs> oh, okay. That was, Good well, point. I was, yeah. I was fucking 20, 29. Yeah. 28, 29 when I got yeah. there. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> we get down to the sponsor at 3 a.m. I go, you want to run down to the convenience and get some wine? And he goes, huh? Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, room beers after at 3 a.m. Like, yeah. Now it's a thing that I can't imagine not doing. <laughs> it's perfect. It's how you do it. I'm also yeah. getting older, and it's like, oh, it's starting to really hurt. <laughs> so, come home, I come home from a weekend, and my wife's like, are, are you okay? I'm like, I'm just, yeah, what's it called? Uh, you need to sweat it out. Yeah. You need to, yeah, yeah. De I'm detoxing. Yeah. Yeah. My wife told me that today. She goes, you've been on the road a lot. I'm worried about you. I said, I look great. She, I, I, think look she, great. I, I think she kind of thought, fucking speak for yourself and your own opinion there, pal. I yeah. see you every day. You I have to look at you naked, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like, hey, it's like we'd be on tour We'd be on tour in Japan for a month, <laughs> and we'd, we'd, we'd tell each other, we'd tell the boys, hey, we have to go home and have sex with our wives with tank tops on because yeah. our guts are so big. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mine was so big I couldn't wear the white one anymore. I'd get the black one. So more slimming, and I just yeah. feel like, look at my shoulders, look yeah, at my traps, look, look at my delts. They look good, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Don't look down. <laughs> this tank top is three X. You used to wear. No, no, that's, that's the same way it's always. Honey, been. can you get some big man tank tops? <laughs> oh, look, how big my, look how big my traps are. Yeah. God, I got big arms, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see those abs. No, 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 no you're all right. No, 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 not yet. <laughs> you know. I interviewed you, yes. Machine Gun Carl Anderson, in 2014. And something that's always stuck with me, I think it was 2014, and something yep. that's always stuck with me is I remember asking you then, you worried about this Bullet Club thing running out of steam? Like, how much further can it really go? And you were like, brother, you don't even understand like the levels yeah. to which this plays out. And, and since that's happened, like in the, Jesus, eight years, I was yeah. going to say six years, yeah. eight years since then, yeah. not only is... The Bullet Club as a brand still around. You see it in New Japan. You see it in Impact. But you see, you still see over in WWE, Balor Club AEW. and everything Finn Balor's doing. You still see over in, you still, I mean, the Undisputed Era. You can has it traced back directly to the Bullet Club. And then you see that go to AEW with the Bucks and everything. And all of it is it's, all traceable the, to this faction that you guys put together in New Japan Pro Wrestling a few fingers, years back. The fingers of the Bullet Club are stretched all the way across the top of professional wrestling now. Like yeah. on, the to- on the top of at the top of every company. Yeah. Has been people that went through the Bullet Club. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's remarkable. The, it, it always I always think about this and it's not like to toot our own horns, but when you look at the way the business has changed in the last it's been 8 years, but I say 10 years from where it went to where it was kind of like became a one option thing especially if you were like an american pro wrestler and now like all this stuff kind of spun out of it kenny and the bucks and cody and those guys going in the creation of aew and then you know the moving the people to impact and the top of wwe and then yeah aj coming and, and everything that's happened it's it's pretty remarkable because now you know I, I say it a lot like there's more contracted pro wrestlers in the world now than there ever have been in history mm-hmm. there's more guys making a damn good living doing it i think that that's a really cool thing that we can say that we were you know obviously a big part of and it's pretty amazing that it started in japan in japan in yeah. japan yeah. Yeah. That's you what, know that's what was so cool i mean I think when we did that first interview you were like um you know, I, I, forgive me, but I don't watch a lot of New Japan, right? You weren't a huge New Japan fan. Right, like I was aware. I mean, yeah. it, it had but been like one of those like, things where the yeah. Bullet Club had made me aware, like, oh, there's something going on over yeah. here. Let me pay attention. Yeah, which that's that's what's cool. I think it was guys like that, like guys like us, the Young Bucks, 100%. And for the, sure. It, of course, Ferg. Um, but the Young Bucks, big man. And then when AJ came in, it was guys that, you know, guys that bet on themselves. Um, don't take shit from anybody. You know, mm-hmm. you, you got to eat some shit sometimes and like it. What do you say? What did Vince say? <laughs> you got to learn to eat shit and like it. God oh. damn it, pal. <laughs> well, Vince, if you just if you keep paying me, I'll, I'll eat a big dog you shit. Got, you, got, you got any bigger spoons? Or how's that <laughs> how much shit do you want us to eat? Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen a grown man eat a whole bag of shit? <laughs> yeah. But you got like, the, 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 you know, all of us were like rebellious people that didn't take a lot of shit. You look at all of them, Kenny, Cody. Yeah. Uh, Adam Cole, Young Bucks, I and mean, we guys wanted to be pro that, wrestlers AJ, yeah. in Japan AJ. too. It was a cool thing, and then it, and then we made it cool as fuck. To yeah, do that. and now like because we were being ourselves, and everybody that came through was being themselves. I mean, you know, yeah. yeah. I was talking to, to two brothers now that are uh, have are WWE alumni. We'll say, and they go, "How do we get into Japan? It looks awesome." I go, "Cause it fucking is awesome." <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not actors. Yeah, so, yeah. You know? <laughs> How do you, uh, 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 something that's fascinating to me on that same kind of lines is the fact that I think one day when the story of, of Impact Wrestling is ready to be told, like from start to finish, yeah, it is mind-blowing. I don't think there's ever been a company better at surviving My God, the landscape right? of professional sure. wrestling For than Impact. Sure. Like, it's, it's, it's insane that they've maintain that that position right around where they're at and it's like we can keep putting on high quality shows we can keep having brand awareness we can keep getting eyes on us and uh, i mean i i i can't think of anyone else that's been able to survive yeah the way impact has been able to survive especially with as many sort of uh moments as there have been where it's like where you think yeah it's gonna this is it this is it yeah always you gotta put over another bullet club member he was Scott, our, our boss, Scott, man. Yeah. I mean, I think I don't know how much of this story anybody knows, but I mean, I think he helped make a big save there mm-hmm. and turn things around when it was one of those other pivotal, like, oh fuck, is that even going to be a thing anymore? 
and here it is and it's rolling again and then you look at the social outreach and you look at the youtube and you look at the the impact plus and all the stuff and all the content coming out and impact's kicking ass the whole umbrella of pro wrestling you can see in our company right now Mm -hmm. there's people from everywhere the forbidden door thing like we were the first ones to to do that stuff Mm -hmm. and and we did that multiverse of matches in dallas where we wrestled the briscoes but i mean there's People from NWA, people from New Japan, people from AEW. There's everybody. It's it's really cool to see, you know, how that's played out. And if you're a wrestling fan, you can kind of see everything under one roof with Impact. So yeah, it's, it's versatile, man. Th- think about this pandemic era, right? Like New Japan. Your was favorite era. My favorite era. <laughs> yeah. My favorite era of all it's time. It's the best the era. Car, the Carl Anderson era. So, <laughs> yeah. so for when, wrestling, it's the best. So era. when's the next wave coming? In? <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta stop saying. That. When's listen, the next? Oh, what's listen, it called? The, yeah, by the way, this is why he's telling everybody like. You got to go get back out there. Yeah. Who needs these masks? Yeah. He wants everybody Fuck to catch this. it again. So Come on. He wants arenas shut Listen, down again. I don't think he wants you to be no, physically sick. No, I don't sick. want anybody just, to be sick. He just doesn't want any fans. <laughs> I, just don't even, I, do <laughs> actually, I do actually want the fans now. Know, it gets me I pumped know. up. But look at it. New Japan. <laughs> yeah, was, I mean, we are here to try to sell some tickets <laughs> to Poughkeepsie, <laughs> right? New, uh, yes, big time. And we will. New, New, Japan, New, Japan was, New Japan was affected big time by, this, by, this, by the pandemic. And look at Ring of Honor. They died. Like they 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 yeah. were, they they literally just they lost and then and, and you know got and they their business went out out of, out of business, like so impacts uh, you know and who knows what impact what it could have happened to impact I feel like they thrived in the in the in that pandemic they era did, I mean man. like we went to we, Nashville and hunkered down yeah we we mm-hmm. we popped in there and was like fuck the Good Brothers are there that must be I think everybody thought we were gonna go to AEW when we had left WWE right but like yeah. I think showing up on impact made everybody go well that's oh, that shit. looks pretty fucking yeah. cool and then Kenny Omega is our boy right then he comes over. People really go, oh, and then people. Shit. So then, yeah. I mean, there's some big buy rates that happen when all that happened, and like, they thrive. Impact Impact Wrestling doesn't always get the credit it deserves, but I mean, it's it's clearly going to stay. Yeah. Why do you? How do you? <laughs> do you think it's because they just keep kind of having that open mind where it's like, nope, we just got to keep evolving the product and and just flowing with the industry. Yeah, yeah dude, I think so. I think Scott Demore is a. Uh, I'm not sure if he gets the credit he deserves for the mind he has for the business. I didn't even, yeah. and I didn't, and I'm not sure that I knew that we he didn't, had I don't think we knew it until we saw it in real action. I mean, Scott Demore was my agent when I was yeah. asking him to get into new Japan. He talked to Hattori too. People don't know. Like he was just my buddy and he'd yeah. been your buddy for years at that point. And, and, but you just, oh, okay, this guy's a wrestling guy. I remember he was the leader of team Canada, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't realize that he, he's the gel that keeps this whole thing together. It's yeah. Like he, before we, we were, we were, we were going to leave WWE before we got canned, but he called. He called us. He called us, and uh, they did it for you. Yeah, they yeah, did it yeah. for us. They went ahead and booted us out. Fuck, I'm trying to keep a positive Weird. attitude. Here. <laughs> Fuck. No, but he called. He Just called us. Again. He called us. He called us when our contract was up, and he was like, you know, hey guys, I I, you know, I really want you guys to come here, and I got this for you. And he, and he offered what he offered, and like our minds were blown. And I was like, wow, people don't. It, it, legitimately, we were in some parking lot of a Planet Fitness somewhere in the road. I'll never forget it because we go, we got to at least see what he's got. We had it on speakerphone. He's not and gonna have one. The offer he yeah. had, he offer he had, we both looked at each other and dropped our jaw. Like, Holy shit! And we go, fuck. <laughs> so like, they're, they're, I mean, the people need to know you can make a you yeah. can make a great Damn living good there. Living, man. And it's a cool place to be. And we're 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 on the phone with with a lot of people trying to get him to come because we're yeah. having fun. We're big recruiters. <laughs> yeah, we're always recruiting. Come have this fun with us. <laughs> yeah, I wish, somebody, I, mean, I wish somebody would recruit us. Like, <laughs> guys. It's a little reciprocal recruiting. Yeah, not much recruiting going on. You guys want us to be in a Good Brothers uh, movie comedy? Sure, we'll do a lot of comedy, no problem. But you do look at the roster, and you're sitting there going, like, these aren't a bunch of guys that'll work for peanuts, right? Like, these aren't guys that are hard up. It's no. like there are a lot of the people on the Impact roster have plenty of options. Yes. So it's like the fact that they're there means that Impact is doing something right business-wise. Yes. Which is pretty Im- impressive. And, and I think a lot of times, especially for wrestling fans like there's nothing about being a wrestling fan that says you have to have any kind of business acumen you just have to like watching wrestling like watching wrestling right and so a lot of times the business part of it is invisible right like you don't see how or where the money's coming in why does this work right is it on tv and yeah right you gotta remember right so i mean it's owned by you know anthem anthem entertainment you know insurance i mean those guys are clearly billionaires yeah I will say we, we, we said we're doing what we're, we're doing. Well. I, mean, I think they're doing clearly. a little better. Yeah. Yeah. And they clearly made us p- watch your good words. money. Watch your good. words. Watch your words here, pal. They, pay, they, they like Chris Jericho has even said it on his podcast, and I think he said it a lot. Like he was, he was 
unbelievable. He was blown away with the the offer that the offer land that that they, that they yeah. made him. And yeah. like that's that's what we want. we want people to see that you you can come here, you can have fun, and you can make some money. Yeah, and, and you it, can have and you can enjoy yourself. We we enjoy the wrestling there. Once we get yeah. there, I don't always enjoy the early call times and the long TV days. Yeah, Those anybody who's writing now. down anything for <laughs> clickbait, we hate the early call times. The brothers have officially said fuck call time. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're clickbait people watching this interview, just like <laughs> like okay, give me some call time. Call time. Call yep. time. Oh, that's that's yeah. what we need. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No contract talk. Call time's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the clickbait stuff. I feel like you guys always find yourself. I also like. I, I'll listen to your interviews and I go. These motherfuckers. They're just trolling. Like they're just getting themselves in. Or, I remember I'm watching. Like, Anyways, AJ Styles just texted me. Hold on. We need to heat back okay. up again. Say yeah. something terrible. Yeah, they got heat with this group. They got heat with that group. Two weeks later, you're working with them on TV, oh, and yeah. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, Clearly, they're just talking again. Wait till the ultimate swerve happens, Sam. You'll see. Yeah. I do. I do love that though. That that that. And I guess everybody's business is contingent on it, right? That like there will never be an acknowledgement that you guys are just talking. shit shit because that's what you do i just I, I, I do wish that uh you know twitter's a toxic place right anyways i think i mean but it could be a useful place it's but very if toxic. sometimes so yeah it's pretty yeah but it can be it can be useful if you don't look into it too much but like yeah sometimes like when we say these yeah don't you I, I, we did an interview with sean ross sap and we like oh the, my god wherever we How, were we did it yesterday sam well, no, uh, no, okay yesterday. no but whatever oh, at one of the wrestle cons or something and like we were just talking just shit, shit flying out <laughs> right. of our mouths about signing here and signing we there. We walk away and we go, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's and everyone just like just starts laying into us. All this motherfuckers suck. They said, "Gotta realize we're in, we're just having fun." You, yeah, you, you do understand this is entertainment, right? right? You realize I was probably also severely hungover, <laughs> and also right, like uh, your words, not mine. <laughs> Not me. It's, it's kind you. of your wrestling characters too, right? Yeah. Somehow you figured out how, this is your gimmick. <laughs> okay. This is the, this well, is the gimmick. You're working the gimmick. Yeah, we're just but that's part of it though. We're just having we're, we. I think people know that. I hope people understand that we're just we really do time. want to have a good time. That's if if we're not having fun on the road and we're not tr trying to make people laugh or laughing with each other. What the fuck it are we doing? Miserable. That's right. But that's right. I think, like, if we come over here and we're bored, and you're not going to help. You know, you, you don't, don't want me here back. anymore. Not interested. <laughs> right. Not interested. Right. I, I invited you into my home for what? Exactly. You know, entertainment. <laughs> yes. Well, that's like it's like we did a podcast one time with a girl, right? And and my my wife listened to it. And she goes, "You guys are just having the time of your lives, laughing." I go, "Do you want it to be boring? Like, do you? Yeah, do that's you want, true. Do you want the girl to be mad? She came on the podcast. <laughs> you want me to be pissed off that that that, that, that she's on there? And well, you, you couldn't even come on it. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even allowed." He wasn't allowed in the room. <laughs> well, you can play this one for your wife. And now you're flirting with that Sam yeah, Roberts yeah. again. <laughs> no, so yeah, I'm always flirting with Sam Roberts. It's constant. <laughs> Let me see your phone. I've been flirting with you since 2014. Uh, I mean, since have way you, back have in you the day. you been sexting Sam again? <laughs> way sorry, back in. Sorry, honey. What is a B double O? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I miss B double L's. Yeah, you we, did. we should I haven't had one in a while. <laughs> yeah. I think we need a tall boy when we're out of here. B double L sounds great right now. We deserve one. It's summertime here in New York. It's beautiful. It's well, a beautiful day. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. End of the month, you guys are in Poughkeepsie, and it's going to be beautiful up there. It's going to be a perfect night for a wrestling show. Absolutely. And I think it's also cool, right, because I know a lot of people in Impact. I haven't seen a lot of people in a, in, in a while. So at the last pay-per-view when they announced, I think that was when they announced it, that Poughkeepsie was going to be the spot for the next one. I know that as a fan, I was like, finally, I get to go see one of these shows live, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like this... You're coming, right? I'll be there. You yeah, bring, is, is the family coming? Does, does the wife want to see it all? I mean, look, there's a lot of wrestling going on. I don't know <laughs> yeah, if... Uh, under this roof. Doesn't she just want to come wrestle? Watch us wrestle? Yeah. Come on. Oh, she... <laughs> oh, <laughs> of she, course not. <laughs> she does always see uh, Carl and go like this. How does he keep his skin so smooth? That's right. I do like How does he keep that. his skin so it's, smooth? It's, it's an obsession, yeah. folks. I've got, I've got some smooth skin as well. <laughs> I really do. I, I know, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what can people uh, what can people expect from the big show in Poughkeepsie? Man, it's two nights in Poughkeepsie. That's what's super cool. Oh, that's We're right. Rebellion yeah. live on pay-per-view. It's a live April pape. 23rd. <laughs> live pape. Uh, all I've done is push how great the papes have been and how great the talent is and how great the content is. The one thing Impact's doing that's... that's literal utter bullshit 
is putting us in a gauntlet match for our titles. What? What the fuck is that? That's insane. It is insane. So you're going to have to sit here and, and, and face how many tag teams for these titles? At least seven. Seven. Seven teams. It's ridiculous. It's an eight, an eight-team gauntlet match. And you're one of them. And we are And we're one, one of them. them. And I don't feel like... And then so, uh, I feel like you should at least get to go on last or something. I think Some it's kind of bullshit, champion's you know? advantage. Sure. I think it's bullshit, too. But but it's, it's, another, it's another one of these events where you see talent from all these companies all over the world. And not only that, you get to see the fallout because april 24th we're doing television there for access tv uh right in right in poughkeepsie at the mid hudson i said the name wrong four times on busted open so i don't know if i'll say busted <laughs> open here say it but again anyway mid hudson whatever the fuck uh, <laughs> but but it's too nice anybody in poughkeepsie knows that whatever the new name of the mid hudson civic right, center is M but it's the classic building or whatever yeah. but yeah but like we said rich in wrestling history two nights of impact wrestling there still are some tickets available on a limited basis so go to impactwrestling.com and grab those and come see the boys live. Look, Sam won't even, he won't even hire a guy to do the edit. He does it himself. Boom, as we go. I if you want that. something done right, you got to do it yourself, okay? Otherwise, you, you end know up what with, you want. To, you yeah, know what you want. I don't want to end up with the worst podcast ever. <laughs> well, yeah, you know I, I, mean? I know a couple don't of worry, we've got that. that. <laughs> Man, that's great. You don't have to do more work when we're finished. The editing no, it's while done. It's yeah, done. Oh, that's it's perfect. Done. What a setup you have. You know what I'm I did? Impressed. You know what I did? I made the mistake uh, early on in my career of depending on people. And I said, I'll never do that again. That's, that's true. Hey, what a house you got here. How much How much are you pulling in a year now? No, you're not I doing that. You know, I'm you're just a guy who likes bad. wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. You can't make any money at that, can you? <laughs> you're no, pulling no, in no, some no, real no, shit to have a house like this in New York. Yeah, my parents probably pay for it. I'm not doing anything. And the yard. Yeah, well, there's no We pulled up and Tommy goes... Do you know how much this probably fucking costs? <laughs> I mean, we know. Uh, and we love hearing that. We go, oh, tell us. <laughs> well, there was a rumor. There was a rumor going around in my neighborhood that that uh, like that my wife's dad had, had bought my house, and you know. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> you know how much that fucking pissed me off? <laughs> I break my back for this thing. <laughs> no, it's all right. You gotta keep keep the expectations low. Oh, he's not making any. You know that, you know that wrestler. His parents probably bought that house. Yeah, yeah. He can't afford that. He got fired. You know. <laughs> Obviously, he's a buffoon. <laughs> I, said, I was out lunging around my house. Like, everybody's fucking laughing at me for getting fired. How's he going to afford that big house? <laughs> but you guys got those. I mean, the merch is still pumping. You got those Super 7 toys, right? Those are, those merch been, is pumping those great, nuts, man. man. We've signed a lot of those lately. Well, yeah, but I heard something about those. Yeah, me too. What about them? Well, I was talking to, uh, I won't say who. I'll say it's somebody else that has a Super 7 action figure. Matt Cardona and Brian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very, very uh, uh, keen on the detail. They were very upset. They, as they were I, beautiful. I was, well, I was well, a little miffed he, myself. He says, this person I was talking to, he said that, no, we got the prototypes. We sent it back. This is wrong. Change that. A couple of people, I won't say who, just said, yeah, whatever. It looks fine. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's okay. a great figure. It's a great figure in, 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 in our defense though yeah the prototype that i got the images from was not exactly how it turned out so what i say to them to you guys as figure collectors yeah mine is rare because <laughs> the tattoos don't match the shirt is wrong that's yeah, wrong <laughs> So but we're it's gonna still have you. to have it. We're gonna have to have a repaint. Let's get another one going. Let's, <laughs> Let's get another thing. one. Yeah, yeah. Buy the next one. Keep yeah. this one because it's the then, rare one. Then you have both. You know, yeah. Sam, we we joke around a ton, a lot. Mm -hmm. But we have. I have to say this though. Like we have, the if the most loyal we do. fans. Yes, we do. I mean, the good brother, the people that have been there since. Like some people called in to bust it open today, and they were like bullet club fans like from way back in the day i mean like if, if, if people that had our back have has had our back for a long time well, i i know and i it's easy i'll tell you what it is it's the fact that like if there's any couple of guys who clearly love this thing the way the fans <laughs> love this thing like we want to see people performing that are living their dreams that are like yeah. those guys are having a blast because i know if I could get my arms a little bigger and I could get in there, I would have a blast sure. doing it, right? Yes. Like, the last thing you want is to be like, yeah, yeah, it's I, I, that guy's living my dream, and he's miserable. Well, you yeah, know? No. I, I, got yeah, a, I, got exactly. I got a text message late last night from an old high school buddy of mine who I still keep in touch with, and I could tell he probably had a, a little brotherly buzz <laughs> going through some stuff. Yeah, thank you. But, but he said, he goes, man, he goes, you guys are so inspiring to me because he goes, you 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 truly lived a dream. And he's like... What happens to a man who lives his dream? He lives happily ever after. And I was like, no, let's, buddy. There's been some bumps in the road there. But, but yeah, we're we're very happy. We're very appreciative. And we, we love the people who support us. But it's like you were saying earlier, I think the people who are true good brothers, talking shop, Bullet Club fans, they know when we're talking shit and we're fucking around. I do, you too. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. 
Sam gets us. We're sincere, I get it. We're sincere brothers. I we just it. we just wrap it up in hilarious. Sam, we we've never had dinner together or anything, and we've never had a phone call, but we're weird friends. Yes, we yeah, we're there's friends. a connection. We're but friends. but we're once friends. this but once this the mic goes goes uh, dead. Yeah. We might not have a whole lot to talk about, so we'll get, we'll get out of your house immediately. Uh, well, we're great on the air. It, it depends. If Sam's wife looks out the window and he pops a couple BLLs, we'll have a no, we're talking. Talk. <laughs> Do you have any BLLs? This I should have, right? I was actually I was at 7 Eleven right before you came and I was like, Do I need to grab some four locos before the before the good brothers come Honest, over? Honestly, Sam, thank God you did it. Because we'd have popped them. Dude, I, I swear with a four you gonna turn down four locos? Of course not. It, bro. Turn down anything? But four loco, four loco. Years ago, I remember this because I remember moments in time. Like I knew I was Festus because I remember what, how I looked. <laughs> but they said four loco has good. To, four loco has to change the formula because yeah, there's too much energy. There's too much alcohol. People are getting alcohol poisoning. All this bad shit's happening. And I go, what? <laughs> And I, I, drove, I drove to the four-way gas station and I bought 81 Four Locos, everything on the back, and I put it in a refrigerator box, and I had it in my garage for like six months. Anytime anybody came over, I'd go, you want an original Formula Four Loco? And they're like, fuck What's no, wrong with you? No. Why do you like that? I, go, I got to say, the, the, this invention of uh, White Claw yeah. is really fucked us. It's dangerous. <laughs> Not good. Because they just go, I mean, they go down like, like, uh, a, like, like water. They go down like a cheese top. Pizza. That's like a, Giant Bernard uh, A Train used to say. He'd hand, I'd hand him a, a BWL, a, a Bud Light Lime, for people that don't know. It's what we used to call it, BWLs. BWL me. <laughs> well, I'd turn around, I'd walk away, and he'd go, "Hey, kid." And I turn around, he'd go, "You gonna hand me one more of those flavored waters?" And he'd, he's, already, he's already killed the thing within a second. His whole hand goes around the whole <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah. So you, gotta... you know, what my favorite part of the Four Logo story is it's not just that you loved it so much and you had to hoard him and everything. <laughs> it's that when you found out. That this is clearly harmful to human beings. You were like, you're getting rid of it. You gotta be kidding me. I had, I felt none of these effects. Drink at your sucks. own fucking risk, people. Yeah. This is bullshit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this stuff is great. It's not affecting me. This stuff's good for you. I know it. Well, I'm having, I'm having the best time ever mowing the lawn. Well, the invention of white claw or, or the seltzers has has moved us away from beer now. Which like, is which good. For us. That's thought, good. That's good. Yeah. Now you think it is, but it's still the same amount of calories. In but it's there. also more alcohol. Yeah, it's it's it is five or six percent. Isn't it? It's less, less not, what, wheat. Let's not hops. get it. Let's not yeah, get it that's twisted. The hops. So so as alcohol. Con consumers here, guys, understand that consumers. White Claws will light you the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Something you got to keep in mind. <laughs> yes. People always go, be careful. Gallows and Anderson always loved having a good time. Those guys can drink so much, and we always go, yeah, for an hour. Yeah, no, you, listen, you only got the Good Brothers Tonight. for an hour. Yeah. Any, any more than an hour, they're they're not saying things that you, you're gonna they're gonna remember. You take us to dinner, and after dinner, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Went to a Super Bowl one time. All the WWE people wanted us to come to the Super Bowl party, and we were like, guys, we'd already been drinking for an hour. Like, we're yeah. done. Yeah, this is a bad idea. We get our power hour. We've got in the thing like uh -oh. zombies. Uh oh, uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Nobody wanted us there at that point. <laughs> well, good brother suck. Oh, God, I wish they'd leave. <laughs> Shut like, up. Like Sam me. now. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know. As wide open as the wrestling world is now, right? Yes. And as much as like you've got Impact, you've got WWE, you got AEW, you got everybody moving from place to place, you got the Indies as healthy as they've ever been. Yes. You know, you got GCW over here popping up. Killing it. Are there is there a match or matches or teams or whatever that you're looking at going like, you know, we've never done that or have you finally gotten to the point where you're like No, there's always new ones, man, and there's yeah. always people coming up and you're always you're fighting to hang in there, but one I've said this earlier too. Like one, we've never straight up had a straight tag with the Motor City Machine Guns. That's right there in our home at Impact. I think huh. that would be badass. I do too. Yeah, we love we loved fighting the Briscoes. Wanted to do more with them, but I was I mean because at the time I think Shelly had just left and Saban was doing single stuff, and we just we haven't done it. That's a drink match. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. and you know, the, the world the world's finally opening. Yeah. Um, we had a match that no one even knows about with FTR uh, in Tokyo in Rio Goku Sumo Hall. Yeah, you for, know, uh, you know, I don't remember the match as well as you remember the match, Chad, because, you were because concussed. Our, our friend who told you the Super <laughs> Seven story may or may not have knocked me the fuck. Yeah, out. <laughs> bro, bro, Broski, we, we we had to wrestle two matches that night, and Broski had to Broski had knocked Gallows out. 
to beat them to wrestle FTR for the titles, and I've wrestled Broski since we were literally children. Yeah. I'm like, these guys are the easiest in the world. We're going to be thinking about this FTR match, and then he comes flying across the ring, and next thing I know, I'm doing kung fu in the corner. I know where yeah. my fucking hands are. And trust me, FTR, FTR called a lot for that match. It was a good match, but we had to remember a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who didn't? This guy. Yeah. No, but we, we had a match with FTR in Tokyo that was with Badass. fucking unbelievable. crowd was going fucking nuts. We, yeah. like, we, need, we need them in Tokyo again. Yeah, I mean, and FTR, yeah. talk about the tag team that's on the run of a lifetime. Killing just like it. right now, yes. FTR is having... All these teams, man. I feel like ta- tag you guys team are, wrestling is, is on fire. You got dude. FTR in one spot. You Fox, got the, the Briscoes, Usos are Usos, destroying New Day, it. Usos us. are unreal. Unreal. They're, they're next level, man. Yeah, yeah. The Usos always have been. We worked with them. They were our first. You we know, we worked with them right out the gate when we, got we came in to, to New York. Yeah, <laughs> both of them too. Both of them can work their asses off. Yep. Fuck, they're great. Yeah, you knew immediately. Like we worked them in Madison Square Garden. So what? Uh, you didn't care. <laughs> no big deal. Big, big, big fucking deal. Just another match. <laughs> Anyways, we were on first. So we got to leave. <laughs> Here's the part the officials don't want you to hear, young wrestlers. When we're done, we leave. We left. <laughs> and we didn't shake one hand. Sure as hell not. We snuck out the back door like men. Hey, I, I had a Under match. Under the cover of night. I had a singles match with, with, with Finn Balor. You might remember this, Sam. Mm-hmm. It was a singles oh, match. You, might, you were there. Carl mm-hmm. Anderson versus Finn Balor. We get we get in the, right, right before we went out. Somebody had, the guys had gone too long during the, in, during the in, show in the garden. It's a big match. Yeah, for these sure. Bullet Club yeah, fans. yeah. Now forget now forget the fact that there was massive Bullet Club chance for us. When you we got Big Daddy Cool Diesel so, on the d- floor. D- what, 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 what do they all, what do they always say? If you're over in the garden, you're over. That's right. So, That's 100. Be, be, before me and Finn locked up. There was Bullet, Bullet Club chance. So I knew I made it then, right yeah. there. But, <laughs> but, be, but before we went out, as if you weren't sure already. Before, I love, be, before I love it. you lean into Finn, you go. Ferg, you hear this? I'm over. We're over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm over, Ferg. <laughs> Aside from everything else, listen how fucking over I am. <laughs> hey, Ferg. Hey, Ferg. You hear that? I'm over. <laughs> we, but we, but, but, but before we went out, the agent comes up to us and goes, man, it's been a, a Jamie Noble. He goes, it's been too long. Everyone's gone too long. Do you guys mind going, like, shorten it up? And I go, how short, Jamie? And he goes, as short as possible. I said, thank God. <laughs> You're not talking to me. I'm not trying to do 25 minutes. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Ferg hit me with a sling blade. Yeah. Kick. Stomp. See you later, baby. <laughs> the ex- it's part of... We're entertainers. It's like Big Kev used to say. It's part of the experience of seeing the entrance. Throw yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. All and, they and, want and to do you, is see us. And you got the chance and before the, the match started. We got the Bullet Club chant. Oh, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice magic killer. We'll see you later. That wasn't because of Ferg. Fuck. <laughs> That was because of the boys. Yeah, so the boys are here. <laughs> well, look. Did Vince that, hear that? Vince, you hear that chance? Vince, you, <laughs> you know, know that's us, right? You know Carl's over. Anyways, our, <laughs> anyways, our push. Our, we, we, I think we lost the next week on Raw. <laughs> yeah, maybe main event after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you're going to have to make up for it now. You're going to have to make baby. up for it in Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie baby. You worked for about 15 seconds in the garden, but you got 17 yeah, gauntlet a, in Poughkeepsie yeah, and then a TV taping the night to, after. We got a five-hour match in Poughkeepsie, but <laughs> you'll get to see us for five hours, so I, come on out. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yes, you want to see the Bullet Club, the good brothers, Gallows and Anderson, put that work in. The real original Bullet Club. You're Jay White will be there. You're seeing it in Poughkeepsie. That's true, man. The, the, the new, the reincarnation, the rebrand, the... the here we are again. Jimmy yeah. Knight, Dash and Chris Bay. Chris Bay's Bullet Club. Now. Both of those guys, within the next year or two, you're going to be going, holy shit, here we go. I'm yeah. telling you. You know, I feel like when we went to, we went to WWE, like the club, the OC, the Good Brothers, we were all always Bullet Club. We were always acting like we were the Bullet we're Club. We were throwing it up. I feel, like we just, I feel like we took our the Good Brothers to... Uh, uh, we made ourselves more famous. Right. Now we're back into the Bullet Club to, to bring these other brothers up. Look Absolutely. at you guys. Just the, the, I mean, you're starting to drift into elder statesmen of pro wrestling. What That's good men we what are. We do. <laughs> yeah. what we do. Is we, we're here to make Chris Bay and Jay White superstars. <laughs> I, and I, we will. <laughs> I feel like you're just waiting to be in like your 60s and 70s out there way too long and yeah. still, still, still going. Sure. Just yeah. rock just and wait. roll expressing if any, everywhere. If, if anybody has any original Formula Four Locos in their basement, <laughs> I could keep us going five, six more years. Send them on over. Yeah, Sam, do you have one? <laughs> yeah, you went through your stash. Well, I mean, I only had 82. <laughs> <laughs> so you, he runs to the gas station and starts loading up on these things when you, re, when you, when you read the law. You remember my old neighbor, Dave. He yeah. goes, did you hear about the Four Locos? I go, what about them? 
He said they're changing the formula. I said, for fucking what? Yeah, you mean? Because these college kids are drinking themselves to death. I go, that's on them. <laughs> that's that has nothing to do with us, Dave. <laughs> Did you read about this four loco? You mean how great they are? Yeah. 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 Nope. Yeah. They, they, Sorry. They won the flavor <laughs> award again this year. <laughs> <laughs> gets in the car and goes and buys them more. So great. I a said, truck I, full. I said, I want all of them. And the lady goes, I mean, we got a lot of them. I said, if this is the last of the batch, bring them out <laughs> open up the hatch of the SUV just fucking loading them in I don't know if you know who I am I'm a WWE superstar I don't know if you've heard of a little fella named Festus but that's me and I need all those <laughs> did Vince ever figure out you were Festus you know I think Carano, he finally I did think, he did I think Toronto okay. might have just made that up and we ran with it so hard and just created our own story <laughs> I love it did interviews about it yeah continued our bullshit of course know? of course but that's I, the way I, to do it I feel like you well you know, now that I realize, be like, oh my God, Vince didn't remember me or Vince. But like, of course he didn't. Like he he has he has seen so many of these He's fucking guys. Seen everyone. I mean, literally everyone. all of the guys. All of, the all guys. of them. All the guys we've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah every single one. Right? Right? Like, don't get me wrong. And man, <laughs> he's also seen every potential every guy. Every guy who didn't every guy make that it. didn't make it. He's seen those all guys them too. too. Yeah. Like the last time he thought about Gallows and Anderson was probably the last time he saw us on his yeah. on his team. Like yeah. that for sure. But if he saw us, again, I think he'd remember us. But he, he got to have some like. He'd pop. Yeah, he would pop. <laughs> he did pop. He did pop. For He'd us probably right throw now. it up. <laughs> yeah, he would. You know he would. Oh yeah, he would. You know he would. He's got to. He got to. <laughs> We're close to Stanford, aren't we? Yeah. yeah Let's about, go. About yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'll take you up there. Look, look. We're close to Stanford, but we're also close to Poughkeepsie. Sure it's coming up. Are. It's around the corner. Get those tickets. ImpactWrestling.com, the Impact place to go. ImpactWrestling.com, all your deets on there. Get those tickets. Come see us live. Come see the amazing Impact roster live. Make it a weekend. All the Both other shows. rosters we poach people from because we're the coolest company going. Come see all of it in Poughkeepsie at the Mid-Hudson. Come yeah. see Impact Wrestling live. It's, it's Live at the Mid-Hudson. It's a, the show is full. And you guys are right. I mean, we're joking around a lot, but when you think about what Impact Wrestling has, it's like a whole bunch of guys that you've probably heard about that you probably haven't gotten to see yeah, live. There's a so ton of yes. spend a weekend in Poughkeepsie yeah. and see all of them. You get a chance to see the Bullet Club. I mean, Jay White's going to be there. It's a that's cool. Yeah, but you, you know, Tom Hannafin at ringside. Oh, exactly. Love, come on. We love Tom Hannafin. We're talking Just Hannafin. His, his announcer's voice at all yeah. times. All <laughs> times. All times. <laughs> always walking like, always yeah. talking in the announcer's voice. <laughs> Hello, Carl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always. <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, I'm... Uh, Thanks for uh, having us. Thank babe. you for, yeah. for being here. Thank you for making this happen. And uh, we'll have to do it again, man. And shout outs to the NYPD, the FDNY, a couple yeah. of New Yorkers. You know it, here baby. we are. The a real deal. Couple shoot locals just <laughs> looking for some original batch four loco. If anybody knows. <laughs> yeah, just, we don't fly till seven. You can get hold of us. Just thank thank God Sam didn't bring us any beat up beat up wells right now. We just would have been well, lit. If we, we, we would have walked outside and Ross, PR Ross, who we love, would have gone, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I got a text from Ross about 39 minutes ago that says I'm <laughs> back. Up. Whenever you can open the door, no rush. That was 39 minutes ago. So. I think I just busted your mic. <laughs> so, Sam, thank you, baby. Sam, Appreciate thank you. Good seeing you guys. All right, brother.